Greetings, David here with Motion Artworks Incorporated. And I'm gonna share just a brief story that some of you might find interesting. Um, and if you're a professional in the film industry, it's probably boring, but uh, I'm pretty much talking to anyone out there who's like a movie fan or kind of interested in, you know, getting involved in something movie related or, you know, um, or hey, if you wanna just like get famous and be an actor, who knows, um, might be interesting to you. So a couple years ago, I had this script. Um, I mean, I still have it, you know, I just, I just haven't done anything with it. But um, it's kind of a crime drama that takes place over several years. And um, I had an actor in mind to play the lead role. Um, that actor was Wes Bentley. Now, I don't know if, I don't know how many of you actually know him by name, but he played the uh, kid who was the photographer in American Beauty. He was the son of Satan and Ghost Rider. He's had some pretty decent roles over the years. Um, He's a handsome guy and he's got this kind of like savagery on camera that's really amazing, especially for the role of a psychopath, which was what I wanted him to play. So anyway, he, um, I, you know, I, I had this like IMDB account, you know, the one I pay for. And uh, so I went and looked him up and I found his information and I, I called his agent. And sometimes in movies, you've got to find you gotta go to an actor and say, look, I want you to be interested in this script so I can get it financed, you know? I got you in mind for this role or whatever, you know, you pitch it to them. And once they're interested, then you go to a studio and you pitch it to them and they give you the money and then the actor says, all right, let's do this. So it's basically, um, what it is is a pay or play commitment. And there's a reason the, uh, the pay part is in there. Um, I did not know this. Uh, like I said, if you're a professional, you probably know this and it's boring to you. But um, it was a nice surprise to me, unpleasant as it may be. Anyway, um, so I call Wes Bentley's agent and I say, look, I've got this script. I want to pitch it to Mr. Bentley. You know, I don't have any money. I told them point blank. I said, you know, it's not financed. I don't have a producer. I got nothing. I just want to have something to pitch to the studio. If I can pitch this to them and tell them Mr. Bentley is interested in playing the lead role, then the odds of it getting financed are better. And uh, I needed a million five just to get him to look at the script. And no, Wes Bentley is not a prick. He's just a successful actor who's not messing around, clearly. Um, basically, that million five was not going to be payment for him to be in my movie. That million five was going to commit him to the role. So like I didn't have the finances for it yet. I had to still pitch it to the studio. If that movie was pitched unsuccessfully and it couldn't get financed, Wes Bentley would be a million five richer nonetheless because that a million five paid for his commitment for when it got financed, he would be obligated to play the role. So, and I mean, I, I said, okay, great. You know, maybe I can find the money. You know, maybe a studio can front it if he's interested. The guy says, no, 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 no. You don't understand. You have to have $1.5 million there for him to look at the script. And I mean, I get it, you know. I mean, he's <laughs> he doesn't have to mess around anymore, you know. Seriously, he's not an A-list actor, but he's pretty accomplished. Um, but what was really a nice surprise about the whole experience was... This agent was not a jerk. He wasn't brief. He actually talked with me a little while on the, on the phone. You know, he understood that I was pretty green. I was just kind of starting this whole thing. And he said, look, no worries, man, I get it. You know, that's just kind of the, the way it goes when you get up to this level, you know. Actors don't want to mess around, you know. And I understood, you know, and, and then he said, but you know what? I mean, I wish you the best of luck and, you know, just call me anytime, you know, if you need any advice or anything. And I thought that was so cool. I mean, I got rejected because I didn't have the money, but I got off of that phone call feeling good. So it was interesting. Um, but uh, what's really interesting is that you can so easily reach these people, you know, they're, they're people, you know, have your people get in touch with my people. Um, I mean, I had a, a membership with IMDb, and so I was able to find his information and call his agent just like that. Um, you know, I was missing 1.5 million, so we couldn't do any business, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> if you thought this video was remotely interesting, go ahead and leave a like, I'd appreciate it. 
And um, be sure to subscribe, you know, because more is coming up. Always. See you all soon. Bye.